Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel and today apparently I can't do an intro. It's the third time because I keep screwing up. I'm not gonna edit this one, whatever I'm gonna say, I'll just leave it in. So basically, a quick update guys for you guys, those who are involved in this channel. As many of you know, we are doing readings for one another where I post a video, I uh, pull a couple of cards from my intuitive deck who doesn't know what the heck I'm talking about We using the intuitive cards that I handmade and you can read for one another and communicate there. Okay So that one is coming up next week guys Please be patient with me because I have quite a lot of personal readings to do and um, Also, I'm working on the intuitive decks. I still had to catch up on the last one that I had to send for. Let me check because I have the package here for Janine. So, what we're looking at today is something that I really wanted to do. I kept thinking what reading to do today and I wanted to encourage you guys and we'll be looking at what's within your reach. So now, don't misinterpret this reading because I'm going to tell you what it is within your reach, what you can get. But you have to understand, guys, that sitting on a couch trying to uh, visualize things is not how usually you know, things go. So you're going to have to put work in order to get there. So as I always say, step up your game, see where it is that you want to go to. If you feel like you need to change some things around in your life in order to get closer to that dream or to that um, goal of yours, do so because you have to do something from your side as well as the whole manifestation thing goes, okay? So I hope this is clear for everyone out there uh, and let's crack on. So I did have to put these intuitive cards on a black background because it's very invisible on a table so i'm going to show you one by one because you're going to see a reflection regardless when i'll pull it closer to the camera here you go that's for pile number one okay so pile number two we've got this intuitive card here let me focus pile number two Pile number three, we have this intuitive card here. I don't know if that's very focused, guys. Let me try. Here we go. You can see the texture. Now, pile number three, we have this intuitive card. Sorry, pile number four, we have this intuitive card here. I told you I can't speak today and I'm not function functioning properly. That's for pile number fours, okay? So I'm gonna show you all of them at once, as you guys like. So let me take my phone out of the holder and let's see what we have. Pile number one. Pile number two. Pile number three. Pile number four. And that's all of them from above. So choose your pile, stop the video if you need some more time. I'll catch you in timestamps. Hello, pile number one. So let's see what's up with you. And I'm gonna be using different decks. And I'm not sure which decks I'm gonna use just yet. I'm just taking them as I go. And let's see, what is that thing that is within your reach? I wanna start with your envelopes. Now, whatever I'm gonna tell you here, pile number one, remember that I might talk about a couple of things that are within your reach so choose which scenario is yours because some things will be very close to your heart and some maybe won't ring a bell and you'll be like I don't need that really so leave it for other people okay let's take a look at pile number one we have spring
we've got mistake I feel like I won that one we've got beach okay it's a very interesting vibe here already very interesting vibe let me put them all here there we go there we go and now I'm gonna be using this deck I don't remember the name of it because I have thrown the box away I don't keep boxes usually unless they are like super beautiful and then I keep them okay I feel like those two want to come out let's see what we have I'll be reading purely imagery here for you guys okay I'll try to use the meanings of the card incorporate them too okay let's see what we have what's within your reach I feel like this is a very spiritual pile already. A very spiritual vibe here. Okay, we'll also be pulling from the Animal Tarot. Animal Tarot. to say to someone out there um, I felt my hair was slightly pulled but very like softly more like it, I felt a touch um, at the back of my head and I think that someone needs to hear it out there this is your deceased every time you're worried or every I think pile number one had um, depression or anxiety in the past and they had to battle with it maybe some of you still are there's a big of a, ba a big a bit I can't speak of a backstory here and um, just remember that if that relates to you the deceased is looking after you every time you even feel anything any kind of sensation at the back of your head because I saw like it was like a stroke you know would you have hair would you not have hair? Just remember to note those things down. Okay, let's take a look at what it is that's within your reach. Yeah, I told you you are all spiritual people here. Because I do pick up this magician a bit differently. Okay, let me have a sip of tea and let's start. I hope you can see that. Let me turn this away a bit. Right, let me tune into your energies pile number one. Pile number one. You're not as much about the material wealth here i don't think that that's something that you're aiming for some of you could but the thing is here the first thing before anything else happens what's within your reach is a peace of mind which is really nice to see here because maybe some of you as i said before have been battling with your mood swings maybe you are bipolar i don't know but you can find a solution for it and i think it's gonna happen pretty quickly within half a year i would say you would come up you'll come about some kind of information that will help you tremendously now if you don't have a depression and anxiety or you're not bipolar or don't have any mental issues here it's saying sorry i'm getting mixed messages here 
as if I was talking to three groups of people. If someone has a headache, uh, maybe you have terrible migraines. I think it's a very it's a very strong pile because these people, what I'm getting for you guys, you want to feel happy and you don't care what it takes to get there. You want to feel happiness and live in a moment and that's within your reach, which everyone is seeking for. No money can buy this for you, so I truly am super happy for pile number one here and you guys you are big ass manifestors pile number one work your magic because the magic that you hold in you so the abilities that you have within you are going to take you very far so especially if you do have business um, related to spirituality or energy or anything of that sort that's somehow helping other people who are not in the best place, this is saying you could, pile number one, very important, you could use your own mistakes, your own struggles in order to shine the light for people around you. By doing so, you're going to become someone who is quite important, very respected. This is saying speak your truth, and use your magic to create something that you want because for you guys what's important is to live peacefully and that's within your reach living peacefully is within your reach but how to get there this is saying um, talk about the struggles or talk about the troubles you had to go through or somehow make it your goal to help others around you who might have gone through certain things. Now, a lot of people in pile number one is super spiritual. I would say if you ever thought about um, doing something that is connected to, you know, that magic that I'm talking about, any kind of abilities that you want, that you have and own, if you ever wanted to to, to be a professional and use those abilities that you have, that would be a great thing for you to do, pile number ones. Pay attention to butterflies, they would be sending you messages specifically. Uh, note down what kind of butterfly that was and what's the spiritual meaning of that butterfly because each, each of them will have a different message at a different time for you, which is really nice to see here. I truly love this. Let's take a look at I think this, this pile number one is super deep. So if you wanted like a quick, you know, oh, I'm going to get a, like a car, I'm going to buy, a, I don't know, whatever. I don't think that's your pile because this pile is very deep. This pile is seeking for happiness. Doesn't matter how much they, these people will have. They are seeking for true happiness. And that is within your reach. But first, communicate with your ancestors. Some of you will buy a home, do see a key, unlocking a new place. So if you, uh, if you want to rent a better place, if you don't have money at all whatsoever, or if you want to buy a house, uh, this is within your reach and it's not too far away from you, this is saying. For pile number one, it's uh, what you need to do, this is saying, is to use your abilities use your abilities and I keep hearing that use your magic in everyday life show who you truly are to people and it seems like someone truly wants to get a house and they will if you don't if you haven't gotten it just yet some of you that's gonna happen around springtime for some of you something has happened already around springtime which made sense to you now why it had to happen does it make sense something very important happened springtime it doesn't necessarily have to be the last one but just remember any major events um, that happened during spring and how it influenced your life because those things had to happen in order for you to be where you're at right now someone feels like they want to live in a place where 
environment but more so temperature is different and this is saying this is within your reach too if you live in a place where it's too cold for you or it's too gloomy um, or just not your temperature it's saying you can live somewhere else where the temperature is different the vibe is different so if you lived by the forest and you want to go by the beach this is something within your reach they actually rhymed even <laughs> or if you live by the beach but you want to live somewhere maybe further away to in the forest or somewhere where it's more mystical um, this is within your reach too so in general if you want to change locations this is within your reach specifically guys for you the most important thing here is work on your magic because that's gonna take you a long way and using that magic of yours and those abilities of yours you can I think by using it you can avoid so many mistakes that other people make because they are not using their gut feeling as much they're using their intellect where our gut always guides us the right ways so this is saying you are someone who is very capable of going forward to a right track by using your intuition and avoiding let's say the more difficult routes in life if that makes sense i keep seeing that the the house someone's opening the the door to a, to a new place or a new home and that's within your reach so overall guys pile number one is what i'm getting for you if you want to move to a different climate specifically a different climate for pile number ones okay and that's within your reach if you want to be a professional in a spiritual field that's within your reach that's very very big here also if you want to buy your own home that's within your reach now work out what needs to be done from your part in order to make it reality what is it there for you to still still to be done in order to get it quicker okay because it's gonna happen regardless but gonna if you want it quicker you're gonna have to push some things okay so I truly hope this made sense pile number one if you want to see more content like this subscribe I'll catch you next time Hello pile number two, so let's use the envelopes and we'll go from there. I feel like that. I want that one. We have confidence. Love it for you. What do we have for pile numbers? Okay, that one. What's within your reach, pile number two? What's within your reach, that one? Travel, nice. And it makes sense because your intuitive card reminds me of a wave and I think some of you have seen it and some of you might have picked it because it has given you a sense of freedom, didn't it? Or some kind of grace that I'm seeing here. And we have study. Oh, you are very motivated, pile number two, aren't you? Go, 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 go getters. Okay, let's take a look at your, what it is that you're going to get what's within your reach pile number two and i'm using my zombie deck for you i don't know why i wanted to use that one what this is giving away for me this choice of a deck for you a lot of you might be into minimal stuff a lot of you might be into black white gray copper colors you know um you probably like to live a minimalistic lifestyle you'd like to feel free in this life and there is something very graceful about you over here and what the world is literally let me try and focus here we go the world literally nearly fell out of a deck and i felt it because it goes very well with travel and something that we talked about before what's within your reach what's within your reach parameters I really love this for you. We have six of cups. It's filling your reach. And the Empress, you're smashing it. Okay. 
Let's take a look at this. We're gonna pull more cards from different decks, so bear with me. So what's for the new witch? I think you click this out of curiosity because I feel like for a lot of people in pile number one, everything's going really well. Even if you are down, you know that you're going to get up and you're going to keep on moving. I don't think you have any doubts that you're going to get what you want in this lifetime, which I applaud you for. What's within your reach? We have self-confidence coming through here as well as here. So some of you have been in a state previously of mind where maybe that self-confidence was taken away by someone or was taken away by something that has happened in your life. Some of you might have been bullied or some of you were in relationship that kept you stuck. And it somehow influenced... Um, who you are thriving to be now, how you are thriving to be, what kind of person you would like to be. And it has a major impact on how things will pan out for you. So use those things for your own good, for your own future, how to be more of. And I would say use the negativity as motivation if anyone is still being bullied. I just had to put it out there for some of you. What's within your reach? You are very modern pile because I'm using the urban tarot here. And again, by the choice of a deck, you, I'm, I'm hearing crisp. You like things being crisp. I think you like to take care of yourself um, or you like, I'm just hearing minimal stuff or modern things, something about that here. Alrighty, let me turn into you guys, pile number twos, and let's see what we have here. Now, right from the start, what I'm seeing, if someone out there listening ever wanted to travel for work, that's very much within your reach, and you will be doing so. If you wanted to study abroad or to study in a couple of places, to change things around a bit for yourself, that's also within your reach. <laughs> I feel like someone out there is watching this reading and they have applied to universities before um, in other countries or other cities. It's saying that's within your reach. If someone out there didn't get a yes, it's saying it doesn't mean that it's a yes forever, okay? So I want you to understand that um, you guys are what you're gonna get is it excites me very much because what's within your reach is freedom. For some people, this freedom can not it is not a big deal. The first scenario that I'm gonna talk about. So freeing yourself from negative emotions that are deep deep down there that you can't escape from and you know some people will relate to that because i'm talking about some deep stuff okay and that's within your reach you can be free from whatever that has happened now for the majority of people here what's within your reach is the free lifestyle if you don't agree with how society wants you to be, how your parents, how your, I don't know, people around you want you to be. It's saying what's within your reach is living your life the way you want it to be lived. You can travel the world, this is saying. You can meet new people. You can make traveling the income of yours. You can study in different places. You can be vibrant. You can meet different people. Feel this freedom in your heart and you can still make money because a lot of you want to be independent here or at least work on laptops. That's what I'm getting for pile number two. You want to work remotely or, or 
it's something here about maybe even being the best hacker in the world like we have the prince of swords here or being the best at technology so if that's your field if you are in tech field or if you are into hacking um, something is within your reach that's within your reach whatever it is that you're aiming for if you want to be seen on screens that's within your reach this is saying some of you are aiming for a luxurious lifestyle and that's something that you can get I think pile number twos um, you are going to be people who will be seen out there vlogging blogging or recording things uh, living your best life and it doesn't necessarily have to be that you have to be visible for for the world but I do think that some of these people that I'm talking to right now will be famous or will be very well known in social media or at least we will be able to see them out there on the screens of ours so if that's something that you're aiming for out of curiosity I mean drop the comment down below I would love to hear from you because I think it would be so cool if you commented down below right now and I like to come back to my video sometimes and to get back to people if you did reach your goals um, and we could have a chat about it that would be amazing a lot of people in pile number one are halfway there so that's nothing new for you you just clicked for confirmation those people who want a family particularly a child that's within your reach as well so don't this is saying don't lose your hope don't lose your hope see how you are right now and how you're going to be in the future pile number two these are two completely different people or at least how you were in the past and how you will be because in the past and I'm, I'm seeing this person who was trying to figure out the world and trying to understand why they are like they are and maybe didn't really like themselves at all times now when it comes to the future what you have is this sense of happiness with who you are how you look like how you act how you communicate what kind of a job you're doing pile number two is all about lifestyle and, a, and about your job so if you ever wanted to live this modern lifestyle as I'd call it someone who does whatever the heck that they want to do and take takes risks this is what kind of life you can achieve by doing something that is unusual you can achieve your goals and especially if you want to be visible out there in the world that's what that's something that's gonna happen for sure um, I think some of you might be doing that already. I just want to put it out there for you guys. Pile number two, maybe that's more for the future for the future of of yours. Um, don't read every single comment, okay? Because I'm peep, the more success you're gonna gain, the more people like to be nasty because they are jealous. So I'd say take comments like that, even if you come across them as as a pat on the back like I'm so jealous well done instead of um, negativity because I'm seeing that for some of you that might affect you somehow but you are strong confident people I think you're gonna deal with it pretty well here okay now let's see what else I'm getting for pile number twos If you think, these are for those out there who are a bit younger, if you think that you can't achieve a degree in something, or if you're not good enough for a certain career, think twice because you are the same. I just had to put it out there for someone. And that's what I have for pile number two. I hope this made sense. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.
Hello panel number three. So what we're gonna be doing is we'll be looking at what it is that's within your reach and we'll start with the envelopes. We'll go from there. Okay. Pile number three. Okay, thank you. We have beach. We have divorce. We won that one. And we have mature woman. Okay, I feel like I want one more, interestingly, for pile number three. I feel like there's one more message for you out there. That one. Four. Okay. Don't get scared because we're gonna interpret these, okay? So, what deck I wanna use for you is the steampunk. Let's see what we have here. What's within your reach pile number three? What's within your reach? Now I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that's within your reach, guys. Remember that a lot of people are watching this video. So whatever doesn't resonate with your storyline, I'll try to make it clear, obviously. Uh, please leave it for other people. What's within your reach? Okay. Sorry guys, I got interrupted. So let's take a look at what's within your reach. And literally we're speaking with five different groups of people. So we're gonna somehow try and determine what's what. Now I wanna also use the animal tarot deck. What's within your reach, pan number three? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pull also three cards and I'll split them into stories for you. What's within your reach? What's within your reach? So we're talking about certain goals of certain people. Now, what I'm getting for you guys, pile number three, please choose your story because we have different ones. First off, I wanna to talk to those people who think that they don't have enough money to reach some kind of destination, but that's more like a holiday destination. Or if they think that they don't have, they won't have enough money or that possibility won't come their way where they can properly relax so that is connected to holiday or some kind of getaway spiritual getaway some kind of therapy maybe for some of you because what i'm seeing that in the future and i think sooner than you think is going to be within your reach because i do see that happening quite soon for you guys well it depends what soon means to you for me soon would be around and i'm seeing 10 so it can be 10 months it can be 10 weeks for some of you, it can be 10 days. Some of you are literally going, I mean, how fun is this? We have the beach, we have six of swords and the sun. Some of you are going to maybe replan or plan a better getaway than you have thought of before. I just want to say that it seems like some of you guys here are quite tired and you needed that for a really long time and that's a big deal for someone out there who seems like maybe didn't have a time or had responsibilities and couldn't get away so someone is literally going for a very beautiful time off now for some others of you you know that's your storyline if you kept wanting to 
divorce someone, that's definitely possible and it's within your reach. See, we have divorce and we have the Empress. The Empress doesn't stay in connection, it doesn't have to be marriage. It can be also a relationship that doesn't fulfill you anymore or you don't know how to get away, you know, or you don't know how to break up with this person. The Empress um, is not in a connection usually that does keep them stuck or is not fulfilling. The Empress will feel that this is not her connection and she will decide for the both people that it's better for them to split up rather than to stay with them for longer because the longer you stay together, the more difficult it becomes. It seems like someone is trying to and will be able to get a divorce or split up with a person and maybe they didn't know how to do it before. For some others of you regarding this divorce, um, if you are still in marriage with this person, um, if you felt like you didn't have enough power to divorce or you didn't have enough maybe money or documents were missing, whatever the case, you're gonna have that power in your hands a bit like this empress over here. So I would say don't worry about it, okay? Because this empress, she's got it. It's all about time. This is saying give it a bit more time, okay? Now, moving on to another storyline. In pile number three, it's like literally completely different story storyline here. I'm reading them differently. Other piles were not like that. For some of you, you are waiting. That, now, it doesn't have to be a woman. You are waiting and you are longing for someone um, who is stuck right now. And maybe you think that you won't be ever able to see this person or to reconnect with this person somehow. Whoever this person is, the I'm hearing they are someone who makes you feel really good and someone who delivers one of the best advices you've ever heard, okay? And someone is stuck in a situation and I'm seeing them enclosed. This is saying that's gonna happen in the future you can even if you are stuck yourself for some of you maybe in a, not in the best relationship you can come out of it this is saying the same way like if you're waiting for that person to appear in your life uh, that's gonna happen pretty soon so do not worry about it because overall energies for pile number three what we have here is Eight of Wands. So for all of the groups, I'm feeling it's gonna happen a little bit sooner than you think. Now for some others of you, if you did notice that your finances were constantly in a rut or you didn't have as much as you wanted and you were always like, I don't know how I'm gonna make this, you know, or I'm, I'm too tired of not having enough. What's within your reach? You're going to receive some kind of an offer or some kind of collaboration, so watch out for opportunities coming your way but I do see you working in a group um, I do think that that can come through a friend some kind of an offer friend of a friend or someone you've known of where someone will somehow have an impact on how things go for you financially so I think I'm hearing a blessing you know the blessing you will receive will change your financial situation and i'm seeing that some of you have probably have a couple of kids or you are single moms or single dads doesn't matter and you've been struggling for some time even if you are not and you've been struggling for some time it's saying doesn't matter what kind of financial situation you are at watch out for offers coming your way which will make you feel so much more stable and so much better about your finances. So financial stability is within your reach. Pile number three is, okay? So let's take a look at, I think I want a couple of more cards for you. Let's see what we have. Collective, please, because this group is so split into sections. Collective, what's within your reach, please, pile number three. What's within your reach? What's within your reach? 
two empresses. I mean, this is amazing. If you couldn't be, or if you were not successful in being a mom, this is saying that's a big possibility that you will. That's for someone out there, okay? For some of you, you couldn't see your loved one for X amount of time. That's within your reach pretty soon here. Um, collectively, what I'm getting for pile number three, whatever the case here, it seems like you will somehow become much more independent. Would it be financially? Would it be your mental independence, if that's making sense to someone out there? What's within your reach is your independence. And I'm, ho I'm hoping I'm making sense here for you. A lot of you have already gotten the grasp of it. A lot of you already know that that's something that's going to happen pretty quickly for you, whichever the scenario that is yours here. And I think you're quite excited about what's to come. And you should be. Because pile number threes, it seems like they're getting... You know, the, the feelings that I'm getting, I wish I could express it. So I might as well just explain or give you an example of a scenario so for example someone who was working their ass off taking care of bills kids or if you don't have kids doesn't matter loans whatever it is and it was always the same like there was slight improvement of your life and and everything was just kind of very routine like and you didn't see this you know you couldn't get that motivation from anywhere. It's saying what, what you're going to be doing in the near future, a lot of you will be taking that yourself. A lot of you will be given an opportunity. So there's that, you know, stuck in a rut I'm hearing and nothing has changed for X amount of time. Now what you get in, so example, that person who's constantly tired, you know, and just not very happy overall, they they get an offer or one day they wake up and they're like, you know what, the only thing that was holding me back was my own self. Did I change a job? Did I try to aim for a better one? Did I come out of my comfort zone? That's the one part of you. And these people will get it themselves. That's why I'm, why I'm saying that here because of the Ace of Wands here. Getting it themselves, right? Some other people will have a very good blessing coming their way where they will get proposed something that's going to take them out of that rut where they're like, whoa, you know what? The whole life has changed. I'm seeing the sunshine. A lot of sunshine vibes here. So I would say also watch out because a lot of information will be coming to light. Something that you've been looking for, where you're looking for some kind of documents to be signed quicker or something had to be delivered, you know, that's going to be happening for you. But overall, independence is within your reach, pile number three. I truly hope that this made sense to someone out there. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Hello, pile number four people. So whoever has chosen the fourth intuitive card over here, let's take a look at what we have. We're going to be using envelopes first and we'll go from there. We kind of want those two. Pile number four. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have depression. We have longing. Don't get scared because I'm going to read them clarify them self-doubt okay so this pile number four already tells me that someone has been battling haven't they in the past um, or someone knows a person who's been battling it and you your wish what you're aiming for is either to get out of depression yourself or to find more light and to find more happiness in your life or you want someone else to 
to find that peace and happiness themselves. And as I was talking, my head was a little bit dizzy. I was a bit dizzy. Um, it feels like someone out there has been truly struggling with that. Would it be self-doubt, not depression? You know, take your scenario. As I said, these are going to be very specific. So maybe not every single thing that I'm going to be talking about will be your scenario. So please pick yours. But I want to use Urban Tarot for you guys here. And let's clarify something. What is within your reach? Pile number four. Wow. I'm getting stories already. This is intense. What's within your reach? Wow. Okay, I'm getting shivers down my legs. This is intense. Um, I'm already seeing two different stories. Three now. Okay, that's interesting. Let's use my animal tarot deck. We'll pull three more cards and we'll take a look at what's within your reach. I kind of want that because I didn't... I couldn't put it back. Okay. Pile number fours. What's within your reach? Okay, let me tune into your cards and let's see what's up for you. So I'm going to go story by story, choose yours. Now, we do have a scenario here where someone was trying to be in a better state of mind and that's truly within your reach pile number four so that's all over the reading if you felt like you couldn't get you couldn't get motivated or you couldn't do things um how you wanted them to be or you couldn't find that spark you're gonna find the ways to do so and i think a lot of you will be thinking, hey, this is such a small thing, what's within my reach? But if you've been very low or if you couldn't find your spark to do things, when you get up from the bed each morning, you know how important that is. Now, someone out there will find a really great, great teacher or really great mentor or preacher, even I'm hearing, who is going to help you out big time. Some others of you, you're going to be the best teachers yourself. If you ever wanted to be one, this is your pile. You can be the best teacher and you will be using your own experiences to make a world a better place. That's going to bring you a lot of happiness and you will find your own fulfillment, pile number four. That's going to be bringing you um, a lot of stability in your life too because we have the Prince of Autumn here and it seems like the money especially i'm reading these cards sorry my phone was like battery low i'm reading the imagery here okay i'm not reading what's written on the bottom if you do want that message read it out for yourself okay but this is saying that once you will find that teacher or you will find a course even for some of you or if you'll start becoming a teacher yourself and learning how to be the best one here because aiming big pile number four is in the future okay you're going to find that a lot of the material things that maybe were repressed or you didn't see them coming into your life will be flowing freely so that financial success now one more thing what i'm seeing some of you again we are going we joining these two some of you have been longing for this free lifestyle where you don't have to count your money that much or you don't have to wait for another paycheck. You're going to create something in your life that's going to bring you that financial independence. And that was coming through in one more pile. I think if you wanted to choose one more pile, you can do so. Or if you feel like there's one more message somewhere out there, listen to one more pile. But what I'm getting here, look longing, wealth and ten of winter again i'm reading the imagery only this dog is independent no one is holding its leash he's like okay i'm on to my adventure so you letting go the burdens that were keeping you stuck and you're going to find some kind of a business you might create some kind of a business if you ever wanted to because that business and that financial security is very much within your reach and i think a lot of you don't understand how how your life will change in the future, specifically financially. Because take a look at how beautiful this card is, my Ten of Pentacles in the Urban deck. 
right it's all about this luxury it's all about it doesn't have to be over the top guys you're gonna have as much as you will need and even more if you ever wanted to even provide for other people um, who depend on you that's within your reach okay that financial independence is a big thing here now third scenario for some others of you out there it seems like you do have um, there's that conflict when it comes to you and your own image specifically body image if you felt like you were not good enough or you are not as pretty or as handsome as everyone else out there if you compared yourself to other people that's gonna be long gone in the future and you're gonna understand how truly graceful you are and you'll find that beauty within yourself I think some of you will start working out if that was an issue for you and if you couldn't find your motivation you will find the ways to do so I do also see that you guys, if you felt like you can, can never get to the f physical state which you want to be in, if you felt like there was always something in your way where you can't maybe, um, you just can't work out or you just can't see yourself having abs or you can't see yourself having a toned body. For someone out there, that's quite important. That's something within your reach, this is saying. You are very graceful in the future, what I'm seeing here. You are very strong. You have a very beautiful body and self-image. That's something that's very important for someone out there and that's within your reach too. I don't know why I want to speak about this challenge um that i'm gonna actually participate in and i think it's it's last year's let me check i forgot the youtuber's name if you want to look it up go ahead and do so um wait um bear with me here because i need to find it Okay, so one challenge that I'm interested in, um, it's not overly exhausting because it's only 10 minutes um, a day for two weeks and you can get your, especially if you're struggling with your belly, um, the video is called get abs in two weeks. So obviously it depends on your body type. Not everyone is going to get abs, but the the feedback has been brilliant. Now the channel is, Clo is called Chloe Ting, okay? And she's the one who is, who has created those challenges for people, especially those who, who don't want to um, do monthly workouts, you know, you can start with that and see where it takes you. But I would say start small specifically if you want to, if you want to feel better within yourself, if you want to improve your health, start small and go from there because I don't know why but I think I had to come across those videos before doing this reading and I'm gonna partic participate in that and I think that's something that is great like the feedback you can also check out the befores and the afters that people were actually uploading themselves it's pretty cool it's very motivating so I would say check it out for those who are struggling to get in shape or who are struggling um, when it comes to one hour long workouts. Start smaller, you'll see how you're gonna get there. Pile number four is, uh, we have two groups of people. Ones who are trying to take care of their body and sometimes maybe they can't, and that's exhausting them. That's within your reach for sure. Please check out those videos if that's your storyline. Others of you, you are trying to be best teachers or to find a teacher who's going to, um, showcase something to you or who's going to give you some kind of wisdom that's within your reach specifically if you were trying to be a teacher or mentor or advisor of some sorts you're going to be a great one don't doubt yourself okay that's within your reach um financial independence is a big thing for pile number four uh let me see i think there's one more message here that i want to talk about Someone is buying a car, a car that they dreamt of for an X amount of time I'm seeing. Do not doubt it, you will be able to get it in the future. Now, as I said to every single pile, I hope I mentioned that in every single pile, how these things work, I can tell you what it is within your reach, but you also guys have to 
work on it yourself too. So a lot of people think that, oh, okay, so I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna do anything about it in order to, to come closer to my goal or dream of some sort. It's saying you, your efforts will be needed, but also that manifestation, put them together and bang, you have something that you've been craving for, okay? So I truly hope that this made sense, plan number four, and this message found those people who needed to hear that. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.